The time is now. My fire ant colony is finally ready to move into their new formicarium. This is one of my favorite things to do in ant keeping. Welcome to Ants Nigeria. Please remember to like and subscribe. First we need to assemble the formicarium. Before the video started, we glued the glass cover onto the hybrid nest to make sure it is harder for the fire ants to escape. It is important to make a formicarium for fire ants escape proof. Fire ants are better at escaping than almost all other ant species. The hybrid nest needs to have a source of moisture, so we will add cotton balls to the bottom of it. Then we will pour some water over the cotton balls, which will generate the humidity that is necessary for ants to survive. You want just enough water to make the cotton balls completely wet, but not as much that there is a puddle underneath them. Now we will place the hybrid nest on the cotton ball reservoir. Make sure the hybrid nest is resting flat so that it doesn't rock back and forth. That looks good. Now we will need to add the water supply for the ants. We will fill a test tube with filtered water and add a cotton ball to stop the water from draining out of the test tube. The cotton ball is the perfect water barrier because it gets damp enough for the ants to drink water from it, but it does not let the water drain out either. Next, we will add the test tube adapter to the end of the test tube. This allows us to connect the water supply to the hybrid nest. The test tube adapter has a very tight fit into the hybrid nest, so you won't have to worry about ants escaping through it. Now we need to connect the hybrid nest to the outworld. The tube that came with the formicarium kit is so long that I can cut it in half and use each half of it to connect each side of the hybrid nest in the outworld. The plastic tubing fits perfectly into the opening in the hybrid nest in the outworld so that it cannot be used by ants as a path of escape. First I connected check. Second side connected check. Now everything is assembled. We added some hard clay to the outworld so that ants would have some terrain to navigate when they get their food. We did not add any fine amounts of dirt because we did not want the ants to be tempted to move their nest into the outworld. Now let's add some super worms to the outworld so the ants will have access to food once they start moving into their new formicarium. Moving an entire ant colony into a different nesting area requires a lot of energy and the ants will definitely need some nourishment. Now let the moving process begin. Look at how many ants there are. First we will detach the test tube that is not being used by the fire ants. Then we will connect a plastic tube from the test to portal to the hybrid nest. about what they have found soon. Here's a close-up view of ants and the brood that will be moving in soon. It looks like more and more ants are going back and forth between the current home and their new hybrid nest. Look at how excited they are exploring their new hybrid nest. and watch them go. Now it's time to make the ants uncomfortable in their current test tube setup. To do this, we will place a light on top of their test tube. Ants do not like the bright light and will naturally want to move away from it. We will keep the lid on the hybrid nest so it stays dark in there. This will make the hybrid nest an effective home site for the ants. 
since it does not have any bright light shining on it. Let's get another peek of ants exploring the hybrid nest. The ants are not moving in the root pile yet. Let's put the lights a little closer to the test tube set up and see if that gets them to start moving the brood pile. Yes, you can see the brood pile moving from the test tubes now. See how they carried the brood to the tube connecting the test tube portal to the hybrid nest? There is an ant carrying brood into the hybrid nest. Now let's speed up the video and watch them continue the moving process. It looks like they want to move all the brood into the plastic tube connected to the hybrid nest first. Then move the brood from the plastic tube to the hybrid nest. The first shipment of brood is almost done. to start moving the largest brood pile from the main test tube. This is the test tube that the queen resides in. The queen right now is hidden within the brood pile. Lots of brood being moved. The queen is going to take another look at how the moving process is going. Or is she moving into the hybrid nest now? Let's wait and see what she decides to do. Okay, she's back. She must have been checking to see how everything is going. Time she decides to move into the hybrid nest. Nope, she's just checking on their progress again. There goes the queen again. Is she finally going to move into the hybrid nest now? Look, she has made her way to the tube going into the hybrid nest. Don't turn around now, queen. You can do it. Yay! Let's zoom in and take another look at this momentous event of the queen moving into the hybrid nest. Time to watch the rest of the colony moving in now. now that they have completely moved into their new hybrid nest. Looks like they have organized fruit piles how they feel best. Look, there is 
the queen taking care of the colony in the brew pile. Thank you for watching Ants Nigeria. Please remember to like and subscribe.